So yeah, this is not my first time filming this video. I actually filmed it yesterday. And I'm going to be real with you guys. I literally hated everything about the way the video was going. The lighting looked bad. My hair would not cooperate. I could not get it to do what I needed to do. It's just like it just had a mind of its own. I hated the earrings that I chose. I hated the shirt that went with the earrings. It's like everything that could go wrong did go wrong. The way that I was describing the product just wasn't making any sense. The words coming out of my mouth just weren't making any sense. It's like my brain wasn't connecting to my mouth or my mouth wasn't connecting to my brain and the words coming out of my mouth were not what was you know going in my brain if that makes any sense have you guys ever had days where it seems like the synapses aren't firing you're not all here you're just not with it with the moment but you still feel like you need to get something done you got to get it done you still got to get it done that was me yesterday wasn't all here wasn't all with it it's like my mind wasn't in the moment of filming the video but i still felt like i needed to get it done and it just looked bad everything looked bad i hated the way the look came out in the end and it wasn't the product the product performed beautifully it was like my creativity was just gone like i completely forgot how to do makeup and i absolutely hated the way the look came out if you've watched my part one of my eyeshadow powder declutter the look that i'm wearing at the beginning of the video that is the look that I put together when I attempted to film this video the first time. It looks okay, but yeah, no, nah, I was blending like crazy trying to get that look to look better. And just overall, I hated it. I didn't even like the lipstick. It just seemed to be off. I don't know. Everything about it was off. If I film a video and I do do a look in that video, I try to take pictures from my Instagram. You know, I take them from my thumbnail and then I try to take pictures from my Instagram as well. None of the pictures were looking right. I must have took like 30 photos and every single one of them look like crap. It was just not a good filming day. You know, whenever I have days like that, and it does happen like just every once in a while, it's better to just say, you know what? This is not working. We're done. Let's start all over tomorrow. And that is what we are doing now. And hopefully everything will go much better today than it was going yesterday because yesterday was just, it was, it was just not good. All right. So the palette that we are going to be using today it's from Menagerie. This is the first time I've ever used Menagerie. The palette is the Sugar High Palette. This is a combination of eyeshadows and pressed pigments. This is the box that it came in. It's just so super cute. It says this palette contains vegan artistry pressed pigments which may cause staining and skin irritation with certain individuals. Menagerie is cruelty free and vegan which I absolutely love. This palette contains red number 27, yellow number 6, and red number seven. Whenever a palette says that it's not safe, that our shadows are not safe for the eyelid, basically it means that it could stain. Not necessarily that you're going to have any kind of real reaction to it unless you're specifically allergic to those pigments, but it can cause staining. So you, you want to be really careful with that. And then the palette, like I said, this is my first time using Menagerie. I wanted to get this palette when it first launched, but it sold out. I'd completely forgotten about launch day. And by the time I remembered it was sold out, so I picked it up in the restock. And I did check, and from what I saw, it is still in stock, so you should be able to still get it. There's the sugar glider on the front and the fruits. My son saw this palette and asked me what this animal was on the cover, so I had to go to YouTube and showed him, you know, what it was, and he was very, very awed by it all. This is the color story. It is so pretty. The mattes are so super pigmented. Very, very rich. Same thing with the shimmers. The shimmers are extremely creamy and buttery. I did do a close-up of the palette, and I also did some swatches, so I'm going to throw those in there now so you guys can see what that looks like up close. My only complaint with this palette, if I were going to have a complaint, is the lack of depth. It's kind of like when I did the Essence Make It Fun palette where the deepest shades were shimmers. This palette is the same way. The deepest shade in this palette is Falling With Style, which is a duochrome blue to purple. The other two deep shades are Ruby and Sugary Sweet. As far as mattes, the deepest matte it's probably going to be Furry Friend, which is kind of a brownish red shade. When I did the swatches, the mattes were a little patchy. But as we all know, swatches are not indicative of how a uh, formula is going to perform on the eyelid. On the eyelid, when I did the, the look yesterday, even though I hated the way the look came out, the mattes did blend beautifully the ones that I used and the shimmers were just super, super creamy. All right, so let's go on ahead and throw together our look. 
Actually, let me show you guys real quick. This is the box, I mean the little card that it came with. On the back it says, thank you for your order. The little foxes. And then it also came with this cute little bear sticker. This looks like the bear that's on the cover of that blush palette. I have been really, really wanting to get that blush palette. It has nine pans. I'll drop a picture for so you guys can see what it looks like. But I think it's like $56. It has these beautiful shades and tones that I don't have anywhere else. And I'm hoping to eventually pick it up in the future. But like I said, it is almost $60. So haven't had a chance to yet, but it's definitely on my radar. I've already done my blush and my highlighter. For my blush, I'm using my Amuse in Perfect Bliss. It's just a gorgeous kind of a reddish peachy brown tone this reminds me a lot of the primer infused blushes from elf beautiful formula and only a dollar for my highlight i decided to pull out one of my kimchi chic you know when i did my highlighter collection and declutter i was rem reminded of a lot of formulas that i haven't pulled out in a while and this is one of them so this is the thaler get that glow in aspen glow as you can see there's a really rich gold shade here this shade right here is the one that i'm wearing now just a really pretty wet looking chic absolutely love it i've already primed my eyelids using my ColourPop party proof eye primer this one is in caramel which is kind of that middle tone they have one that's like more invisible then there's a deeper shade and then this one is in the middle i have a pretty good idea already of what i'm wanting to do i kind of pre-planned it so hopefully this will go better than it did yesterday i'm gonna take furry friend that's gonna be like my main shade i'm gonna put that in the crease kind of blend that to the you know outer corner of the eye and then i'm going to take joey which is that kind of warm toned yellow and blend that in the middle i'm basically doing a warm eye look is what we're going for here instead of pulling in some of the brighter colors i've been doing like brighter eye looks lately and i'm wanting to do something more warm more bronzy so that's what we're going to be doing then the shimmers i'm going to take ruby and pouch protective so this one may go in the outer part of the eye uh blending gradient into this one and then pick something to go in the inner corner so let's start with this one first and go from there pray for me guys let's hope this goes well i'm going to take blend bunny one here and i'm going to start blending this into the outer part of the eye looks like it has kind of a brown red almost kind of a clay tone to it i was trying to find the right words beautiful tone oh see that's blending beautifully already this look is looking better than it did yesterday yesterday you guys i just i don't understand it just everything that could go wrong was going wrong it just wasn't good you know every now and then we have those days sometimes it's just best to just go ahead and start over i want to kind of wing this i thought about using some tape to give me a more defined um like line on the outside it's been a while since i've done that if you take a little piece of scotch tape and you kind of lay it going at an angle here you can get really messy with your shadow it's going to blend just go crazy over it and then when you remove the tape you have this nice little clean line i know there's also like makeup like eyeshadow tapes that you can get that do basically the same thing but, you know, I got this from the Dollar Tree. It works just as good. This is blending beautifully. Oh, my God. Yeah, already, guys, this is looking so much better than yesterday. It was like I completely forgot how to do makeup. Like, I was so lost. It was not a good feeling at all. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. I'm going to take Blend Bunny 4 and take a little bit of that yellow Joey shade onto my brush. Kind of brighten up the inner part of the eye. It's a pretty yellow. It's not super, super pigmented. Just right at the start. But it does seem to be pretty blendable. And it's blending in to this kind of terracotta clay brown shade pretty well. Just really wanted a brighter inner corner my goal is to try to do a couple of looks with this with the brighter colors for instagram reels and you know tiktok as well i have to say guys my time it just seems to have been so short lately like it just don't seem to have the time that i want to focus on my channel and especially on tiktok like tiktok has just really been suffering i have maybe uploaded 
three or four times over the last couple of weeks with my goal originally being to upload like at least once a day and I just don't have time. Even though the videos on TikTok are shorter, it's like they take a little bit more time, a little bit more planning to do. I'm hoping that once the kids go back to school in a couple of weeks, that it give me more time to focus on what I've been wanting to focus on. I can put more energy, you know, into my channel, into TikTok. Instagram is doing pretty good, but, but yeah, I'm hoping to put a little bit more focus on TikTok and YouTube. I'm going to take a little bit more of that furry friend shade on this little angle brush from Shop Miss A. And I'm going to carefully blend that into the lower lash line, connecting it with the shadow on the lid. Skin on this eye, especially right here, is a little bit looser. It's definitely seems to have gotten looser like in the last couple of years though. I have to be a little bit more careful when applying shadow. I can't just take it and go, you know, like you see some of the younger folks do. I have to really take my time so that the shadow doesn't just get all crazy and wild on me. Alright, so far I'm really liking how that's looking. It's coming along much better than yesterday. Alright, now for our shimmers. What are we going to do? We're going to start with this brush from Doe Color. I'm gonna go ahead and I have my setting spray. This is the A Plus Oil Control Setting Spray from Shop Miss A from the AOA brand. I'm gonna have this here just in case I need to with the brush, but I don't think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna take Ruby, which is this beautiful ruby red. It's got a little bit of a copper kind of mixed in with it, and this is going to be the focus here. I like to try to do it at an angle and not up and down so that the shadows are not just like sharp, you know. That is a beautiful red. Oh my god. Ah. Oh wow, that is stunning. That is like just rich and shiny. Ooh. I am though going to go in ahead and wet the brush just to kind of get it to stick a little bit more. You know, you know, it's common with shimmers. Usually, I like to do a sticky base, but I, I didn't do that this time. Oh, my word. That is beautiful. Oh, that is gorgeous. Shiny, ruby, red. A little bit of copper. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a slight shift. Oh, my God. That's stunning. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more furry friend. Just want to blend the edges a little bit more so it's not so harsh looking on there. We have like a harsh line between the shimmer and the matte. So now I'm going to take the flat angled side of VH Cosmetics brush and we're going to go into Porch Protective, which is bronzy orange and blend that in this area. Oh my word, that is so rich. I'm going to try to take it at an angle. Oh, that is so pretty. <gasps> Such a beautiful, rich copper orange. Oh my word, that is stunning. I'm so glad that I finally got to try this brand. I have been wanting to try Menagerie for so long. I just hadn't been able to up until now. Heard nothing but good things about their formula. Just so glad that I finally got to try it because this is stunning. All right, so that's going to be it for the mats. I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do my wing. I'm going to pick something for my waterline, throw on some lashes, put something on my lips, and then we'll come back and see the final look. We are back and the final look is complete. And I have to say, guys, I am loving the way this look came together so much better than yesterday. The entire video was a disaster. I just don't know what was going on, but it just did not go well. The lashes that I'm using today are from Lily Lashes. I don't see like an actual style. But there's the box. I love the fact that these have that really pretty flare on the outside. That's where I like my lashes to be. Shorter on the inside, flared on the outside. I just feel like it gives the eye this really pretty wing. I love that. Speaking of my wing, I did that with my NYX Epic Ink Liner. I have been loving this. As you guys know, this is my favorite liner of all time for my waterline. I'm using 
one of the liners from the ColourPop Hocus Pocus collaboration, the first one. This shade is Sista, which is a coppery, it's supposed to be a shiny metallic copper, but it is starting to dry out. I just did my liner declutter and this one seemed to be working okay, but it's definitely, I had to kind of work to really get it in there. So this one may end up being decluttered soon and I'm going to have to find like a really pretty coppery metallic liner because this is the only one that I have like this right now. My lip combo is the Persona Lip Liner in 90210, currently my favorite neutral liner. And one of the liquid lipsticks from She Glam, this shade is in Wonderland. It's just a really pretty peachy nude. I wanted a more subtle lip to go with this really pretty bold coppery eye that I put together. I love the way that this look came together. The palette overall, it is absolutely beautiful. This is not like cheap. It's cardboard, but it's very substantial. It feels very high quality. It feels very luxe. It does not feel cheap at all. The artwork on the front is so super cute. And this beautiful, colorful color story. I mean, it looks like candy. That's what I think of when I look at this candy like it looks very sweet which goes with the sugar high name of the palette just very sugary sweet is what I think of when I look at this color story the only thing is that I do wish there was a little bit more depth like we did have some mats in here that were a little bit deeper so that we could get a little bit more depth with the shadows but overall the mats performed beautifully the joey shade though the yellow i did have to really work to build that up that one was a little bit patchy i would say put like a light base underneath like concealer maybe a white um, eyeshadow base before you go in with this one it may show up better if you have kind of like light fair medium skin tones but if you're like my skin tone and deeper yeah you're really gonna have to work to build this particular shade up if you don't have like a lighter base underneath which you know i i didn't but other than that this palette performed beautifully i think it is gorgeous i'm very very happy with my very first ever purchase from menagerie and i do intend to purchase more hopefully i can get that nine pan blush palette and hopefully i can find the time to do some more looks for like my instagram reels and my tiktok let's let's hope i can do that in the next couple of weeks. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. If you're new to my channel and you are not already subscribed, I would love it if you would consider joining my little family and hitting subscribe and make sure you tap the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos coming up in the future. You can also follow me on my other socials. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.